Meanwhile, major fallout today for Donald Trump after he hosted that now notorious Mar-a-Lago dinner with Kanye West and a white supremacist leader, Nick Fuentes. It's incredibly poor judgment, and I think that ever since the election in 2020, I think the president's descended deeper into heart of darkness here. Kanye, now known as Ye, says the dinner got heated when he had the moxie to ask Trump to be his running mate in 2024. When Trump started basically screaming at me at the table telling me I was going to lose. Trump spent the Thanksgiving weekend doing damage control, calling Kanye seriously troubled and claiming he shows up with three people. I didn't know Nick Fuentes. All right, Shalom. This is Ahara One by Nyasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say, Kal Halayim, Le Yahawa, by Hashim Yahweh Shai, by Hashim, Harakakwadash, Ma'ama. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, Nagwatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Uh, quick topic dealing with um, Kanye West, or some say Kunye West. Now you see why, man. Um, you don't want to be no coon no more. Um, seen a video earlier, Apostle Tahar, uh, Elder Apostle Tahar put up about Kanye walking out of the interviews. But anyway, um, check this article out, and you see in the video in the beginning, uh, Trump turned on uh, Kanye. All right. Soon as um Kanye, or he calls himself Ye or whatever, uh, for legal reasons. Um, soon as he challenged Trump at some dinner meeting they had, he told him to be his running mate. Trump looked at him like, "What the hell wrong? With what?" <laughs> so I'm gonna read this article, man. Let's see what the spirit takes us. You know, the scripture say never trust thine enemy. And um I remember he was uh he said he was now he's saying he was medicated, which could be true. He dyed his hair blind, he wore the uh Make America Great again hat, the red hat. And he called himself going into the trenches for Trump. But Trump is not willing to go into the trenches for him. That's the ways of Esau. All right, that's the ways of the rich man. It says Trump deems Kanye West a seriously troubled man. Basically saying he's crazy. See that? I'm saying he in trouble. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> it says who who just happens to be black. Hey man, can't you know, you know, Esau do these subliminal, subliminal um, racist. You know they make subliminal racist statements, real slick, real crafty. You know, that's why the Lord called him the serpent. He said just he just happens to be black. After a Mar-a-Lago trip fallout. It says Trump received criticism for Mar-a-Lago meeting with Ye and uh, you know white national white nationalist uh, Nick Fuentes, it's like KKK or some shit. It says former President Trump deemed the hip hop artist, formerly known as Kanye West, a a seriously troubled man. After receiving blowback over a meeting with him at Mar-a-Lago, so Trump see um, Kanye West in um, in despair of being persecuted or going through it, and uh, Trump right there to to put him down. See that same way Kanye West, Kanye West lifted up. You know, and uh, praising them all the damn time. I'm on Trump's side. And all of a sudden, Trump go against them. You know, for power, for uh, that, that presidency. 
or, or, to, or to keep his, um, you know, choose his side, basically, man. You know, you can't say too much on YouTube, but whatever. Let me just keep reading. It says, so I help, a, this is Trump's quote. It says, so I help a seriously troubled man who just happens to be black. Basically, I help the black man. <laughs> he ain't gonna do that no more. Right? So I helped a seriously troubled uh, man who just happens to be black. Yay, Kanye West, who was, who has been decimated. You know, coming from Trump, man, you got, <laughs> you know, you've been decimated, you're done. Who has been decimated in his business and virtually everything else. You know, Trump owns some business shit, man. Like a whale, you know. He's one of the elites in, in a, a lower level elites. And virtually everything else and who has always been good to me. Now watch this. He, he said he's always been good to him. Um, Kanye has always been good to Trump. Like, like, oh man, like good old boy, right? This is a good boy right here. Damn. By allowing his request for a meeting at Mar-a-Lago alone so that I can give him very much needed advice. Trump wrote in a message posted Saturday to his to his true social account, right? Trump started his own Twitter, in a sense. And it's called True Social. He said, he shows up with three people. So he said, Kanye showed up with three people with him. <laughs> Two of which I didn't know. The other, a political person who I haven't seen in years. I told him, don't run for office. A total waste of time. You can't win. Fake news went crazy. All right, so he told Kanye, "Don't go for, don't run for office. You can't win." So why you want to tell him not to try? Even though we shouldn't be trying to be president of America, our people, because this is not our kingdom. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. All right. It says here. This is Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart. See, we're supposed to depart mentally, not cling to this place and go into the trenches, you know, deeper into Babylon, meaning confusion. For this is not your rest. So this is not our rest. This is our hell. So Kanye is trying to seek heaven and hell. Like within that shit. Trying to pull heaven from hell. It's impossible. It's like day and night. You know? You got to live in one or the other. So, and in the kingdom, we're going to live. You know? We're going live it, to live it up like Ja Rule said. Arise ye and depart. How do we arise? We stand up upon our feet. And it's meaning spiritually, gird up thy loins of the man, and that man being Yahushua as the example. We stand up, as the scriptures say, according to prophecy, in the spirit of the Lord, according to Ezekiel 37. All right, the, the, the great exceeding army standing upon their feet, which means the Lord has brought them out of their graves once they have that understanding that the Israelites began to keep the laws to the best of their ability and then you had to have the breath which is what the, the breath of life the truth the Holy Spirit but that's why the Lord says it's, so it's, it's hard for a rich man to make it into the kingdom of heaven all right arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted. Everything they deal with this place, man. You, especially getting into government, man. It's going to pollute you. 
can pollute his mind. And um, look at what it did to him. They drugged him up, uh, allegedly. Messed his mind up with the Kardashians. Had him on um, Trump. You know, had blind, sitting up there with blind hair, told him to make America great again. Was bugged out. Now he wearing all these weird other um, shirts with slogans on them. You know, uh, that I'm not gonna speak on too much right now. It says what? We supposed to rise out of this place, rise above it mentally, spiritually. Why? Because it is polluted. The Lord said, this is not our rest. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction, man. All right. So he fell for the tricks of the rich man. Yep. It says here, man, um, Sirach chapter 12, verse 8. A friend cannot be known in prosperity, right? They yeah, act like your friend when you um when you're on top, when you when you making it just stand they call it staying in your lane and you you excelling in business and things like that and people like you. But if people don't like you, everybody avoids you. Or they try to help to um to push you down so they can get the attention of the crowd. When he wasn't, people didn't like Trump. So now they see they're going, they didn't like the rich man, but now they're going at the poor man. Even though Kanye West got, had millions and billions of dollars, he's still poor spiritually. With it, you know, the Israelites are the poor man. And they reminded him of that. All right. The scriptures say we, those that, um, that gain should look at it, it, it getting money in a bag with holes in it. Why? Because you you really losing in this society. The more money you get, the more money you get, dollars you get. These elites, a lot of them don't even deal with dollars. They deal with fractional reserve currency. You know? Or they deal with signatures. They walk around signing shit because the signature is the money. Or they deal with slaves, meaning employees through their corporations. You know? Investments. You know, I'm sure Kanye got investments too, but you know what I'm saying? So it's a whole nother level that he's going up against. We can't fight Esau with Esau's weapon, blessing. We have to fight the good fight of faith. We have to fight with the truth against the lies. You feel me? So it says, a friend cannot be known in prosperity, man. When you're going up, everybody cool with you. And an enemy cannot be hidden in adversity. So as he, as Kanye West, Kanye West is going through his adversity, he's seeing that, oh, snap, these people are my damn enemies. <laughs> Trump was his damn enemy. All has always been. Throw him under the bus in front of everybody, man. In the prosperity of a man, enemies will be grieved. See, when he's prospering, he's talking about he's running for presidency, his enemy is grieved, he's upset. He said he yelled at him. <laughs> he said, Kanye West said Trump yelled at him at the table, dinner table, when he said he was, he was running for president. So in the prosperity of, of a man, enemies will be grieved, but in his adversity, even a friend will depart. Even a friend, man. That's, what, that's why it's better to be brothers in the spirit. You deal with your brotherhood. Yeah, Akim. In business, there is no friends. All right. You just have contractual agreements. 
in marriages, which is a contract or agreement. But that don't mean somebody's your friend. Just because they stand next to you, that don't mean somebody's your friend. This is proof of it. It says, what? Never, never trust thine enemy. All right? When he's smiling, don't trust him. And when he's mad at you, don't trust him. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness, man. I mean, over time, you'll see that he was getting waxing worse and worse. They're worse now than they were in the beginning, these Edomites. And they're about to show it. They're showing it. They're more crafty, more widespread, more powerful. All right, because these corporations and their business and their money. It says, um, so that, that hatred that came from Esau that was always toward Jacob waxed worse and worse. The scriptures say that he kept it all the way to the end, kept that anger towards us. Though he humble himself, right? And this was at, this was around the same time when Trump put out there. Remember, he was telling the cops to be more hard on Jake's when they were killing the uh, Jake when he was in pop mm -hmm. when he was president. A lot of Jake's were getting slaughtered by these cops. It's still happening, but it was like a little fast. You know, then we start seeing them pictures pop up all over the internet. Of all the Jakes that were getting killed by police that year, those years of his presidency, Trump. Man, that around that same time you had Steve Harvey, everybody meeting up with Trump, this guy Kanye West, Kanye West, when he was in that mindset. Still kinda is. Yeah, buddy. So it says here, um, never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. His wickedness waxed worse and worse, man. Esau. Though he humble himself, politicians, businessmen, salesmen, spirit, neighborly. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. It's still there, it's still some residue of that wickedness, that rust. It's still there, man. The same one, same same uh, devils from back in the day. During slavery, it's still there. All right, the remnant. It says, "Set not thy, set set him not by thee." They like sitting a snake next to you, even though he crouches himself, put his make himself seem. Hey man. Yeah, but he gonna bite you on the ankle. Like in Genesis, to bring you down. Set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. See, now he's trying to bring um, Kanye, trying to bring him down so he can stand up in his place. He said, you're going to run for president. Oh, hell no. You got to get him out of there. He said he's doing damage control by putting out that statement on Truth Social. It says, Set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. That's what Esau did, man. That's in 70 AD when they overthrew us. They stood up in our place. Thus you have the conversation that Kanye West is having with um, those corporate elites today. About the Jewish, they stood up in our place. All right. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, Whew. lest he seek 
to take thy seat. And thou, at the last, remember my words and be pricked therewith. See, he, that's what Kanye West is. He pricked right now. He's still trusting Trump, but he's going to be upset real soon, man, because Trump ain't going to stop. The more Kanye West talk about being a um, president, you're going to see them horns uh, come up uh, upon um, Trump. He's going to show his horns more and more. All right. It says, uh, who will pity a charmer? See, that's what, that's what the, that's why it's kind of hard to pity Kanye West when, as he dealing with what he's dealing with. Because he was acting like he was charming him. He was trimming his ways to seek love. That's what that is right there. Trimming his ways to seek that love and he didn't get it. And now he's throwing a hissy fit. It says, so who will pity a charmer? It's in there playing with a snake. You're going to get bit eventually. It's common sense. All right. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a, a serpent? And the serpent is Esau. Or any such as come nigh to wild beasts, man. So they got that wild beast spirit. What's a wild beast? Untamable. Lack of morals. No spiritual value, man. Wicked. That's a wild beast. That's why the Lord called NATO the beast. Because it means it's, it's wild. You know? Uncontrollable, man. So, so people act like beasts upon this earth. Especially in the business field. they some damn animals. They devour you, man. All right, kill or be killed. That's the attitude, right, in the business world. So one that goeth to a sinner, and Esau is a sinner, and defiled, and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity him, man? Make America great head again, right? The Lord said what? That's why the Lord said that in Revelation. I ain't going to get it. Revelation 11. I think it is, right? Let me get it real quick, just in case. No, it's not. Just real quick. There you go. Yeah, it's Revelations. 18, but this is physically going to happen when the, when the Lord calls the elect up to those chariots. But it's still spiritual. And the Lord said, um, you know, rise and depart. All right? That's spiritual. I'm talking about mentally. Revelations 18 and 4, I heard of, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. And that you receive not of her plagues, man. So you got to be taken up into the chariots. But the mindset is what? To not be partakers of her sins. And by making America great again, you partaking in the sins of America. Becoming a president. Becoming a part of the problem and not the solution. It says, so one that goeth to a sinner. Oh, it's lucky. Yeah. Who will pity? For so one that goes to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity him? Man, that's why the Lord said that, man. Deep. Let me get this. All right. It says here, Proverbs 3 and 31. So he see President Trump, he, he see these uh, corporate elites. He said, yeah, to have power in this world, you got to have product. They're taking that away. To have power, you got to be the president. They ready to kick him down now. Proverbs 3 and 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways, man. 
Don't try to be like them. Don't try to be no damn president. They got put on this act, this whole political act, get ready for his campaign and all this weird spirited shit. And then when he loses, he's going to be back to being Kanye West again. It's just corny. Or if he wins, he's going to be a, a certain mindset or act a certain way like Obama was doing. Like the politicians have to do, but then when they lose, they just you see them just chilling. See, you know, they call that um, two face. Verse fifteen, the Salak Sarakia, Salakia. Oh my God, Sarak, twelve and fifteen. For a while, right? For a while. He will abide with thee, man. He was abiding with Kanye West, right? Kanye West at that time. For for a while, he will abide with thee, standing right by his side with him. But if thou begin to fall, see, beginning, you know, if thou even be, begin to fall, he will not tarry. This dude ain't wait. Trump jumped out there quick. Yeah, he's a troubled man that I helped just so happened to be a black man and did it. I told him don't run for president. <laughs> Throwing him under the bus. It's not my fault he brought that guy with me to a, a meeting. I had nothing to do with it. So when thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. An enemy speaketh sweet with his lips. See, being all nice to him, cool with him. I came, I wanted you to come have dinner so I can give you advice. He's a good, he did, he was good to me. So an enemy speaketh sweet with his lips. That's that politician or business talk. But in his heart, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes. All right, not gonna let he care. But if he find opportunity, he's an opportunist. He will not be satisfied with blood. No, no, no. They want to see this man destroyed, Kanye West. Killing him ain't enough. If so, they would have tried to do it already. Well, he tried to, but they would have did it already. They want to destroy his life. They want to destroy his beliefs. They want to destroy his confidence. They want to destroy his hope. And adversity, going through that adversity, the trouble, right? He's a troubled man. If, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. He's the first one to show up. See something happen in the Kanye West? He right there. To, to kick him in the damn back. You'll find him there first. Now he knows he's your enemy. You gonna run him, mate? No, nah, I'm running against you. I'm your enemy. <laughs> if if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first, man. And though he pretend to help thee. Yet shall he undermine thee. The Lord's words are so true. He pretended to help him. He didn't help Kanye. What did he do? He had his meetings and stuff like that. What did he help? What happened? What came? What 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 came out of this? He brought peace to the black community. What ha what what was this for? This, these meetings they were having. So he pretended to help him. <laughs> he said, yet shall he undermine thee, man. He said, yo, Trump would never turn on me. He turned on him. He will shake his head. Look at that. <laughs> Y'all know Trump, man. He funny. He will shake his head and clap his hands. He applauding it, laughing at him, man. Just like they used to do in the lynching, public lynching, or buck breaking. 
to an Uncle Tom. You know, when they, when they had to realize that they still amongst the uh, the natives, the slaves, you know. Can't say certain type of terminology, but whatever. He would shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much. And that little typing and uh, that little typing they doing on their little truth social and these social media sites, that's like whispering. Little tweets and shit. It says what? He will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance, man. Alright. So the Lord said, What a friend cannot be known in prosperity, and an enemy cannot be hidden in adversity. So they're showing themselves, man. Look at Kyrie Irving. All right. Esau's showing his true colors. And he's showing the horns. And Jake's too, Jake too, still too blind to see it. 